I could not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Fight well with your offhand, as if born to it. Easier than expected. And how does the world look through a single eye? It keeps me alert, focused. You're strong as ever, Tyr. I'm glad for your swift recovery, buddy and Huga. What's done was bound to be. I bear no ill will to any here. Not you, not Fenrir, not even Loki. I'm not ready to forgive the trickster. Will you punish him? Not in this life. But he will not join us in immortality. The world we wake into will be free of his malice. If it must be so. Ja, 
Your journey has borne fruit. Of the sweetest kind. Life. Which I intend to share, of course. We are fortunate that luck follows you like a dark feline. Against all odds, your success is what redeems you. Endears you. And how charming do you find me now? Just enough to keep me awake. I've barely seen Freak since we... I will not give up. I never do. Good. Father, giant slayer, doom bringer! <laughs> Do you remember your fight with the builder? The Jotun who disguised himself as a craftsman? It wasn't long ago. I remember. I must admit, it was a glorious kill. I should have told you then, but my envy consumed me. It was a good fight. We should go hunting soon. Remember the days we used to hunt? With our wolves scary and frecky? A good idea. We will hunt Jotna soon. Without the wolves, just the pair of us. Skull Smasher, Bone Breaker. Let old times be new times! <laughs> I will be seeing you, old one. Sleep with one eye open. Farewell, son. have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. 
Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? That was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the Great Wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed the final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. And that was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge, and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Oh, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka.